Good morning and welcome to WFMS where we're getting the news out to you. Hey, Miss Greco, who has it better than Franklin Middle School? Absolutely nobody. Nobody. That's right. Nobody has it better. Uh, good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, September 10th, and uh, we're just having a great day this morning. Miss Greco and I are sipping on our coffee and our water and um, just just reminiscing about the good old days. And hopefully you're making some good memories and remote learning. All right. Today is Thursday, September 10th, and we want to remind students, A Day students, today is a synchronous day. You're gonna meet on Zoom. And B Day students, it's an asynchronous day, and you're going to be going to all of your teacher's Canvas pages and making sure you do so at that prescribed time. And I love these pictures. I think, I yeah, I think the young man in the bottom left corner, that is Carter Kim. Yep. That's a, look, that's a good looking pooch. We like seeing his first day of sixth grade. And I don't know the, the young man up in the upper left hand corner. Not either. Maybe he'll uh, send us an email, Miss Greco, and identify himself. I don't know who it is. Yeah, it's, that would be great. Yeah. Talk to me about our welcoming ritual, Miss Greco. Well, what do you think your favorite class will be this year and why? Ms. We're Greco. only a, a little over a week in. So who? Is, do you think is going to be your favorite teacher? Who do you think your favorite, or what will your favorite class be? Yeah, and I'm, I'm thinking back to when I was in middle school, my favorite class was PE. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of my favorite activities was trying to do, get up the rope in PE class. Ugh. And um, I don't think I ever got there until like seventh or eighth grade, but I liked it. I did it, but I didn't like heights. Mm -hmm. So All I right. Take a look here. Attention, all FMS students and families, all students should be joining their AP class for morning announcements. That's Tuesday through Friday. Get other important school-related information. That's every day, Tuesday through Friday. And we have another student here, and he is doing his remote learning. Looks like he's got a good setup there. Looks nice and quiet. All right. So we have something that we call swag. <coughs> And these are the class expectations. We need you to sit up and be alert, watch the screen, use your best attentive behavior, and give feedback and ask questions. Now, that does not mean playing a video game at the same time. Does not mean being on the phone at the same time. You need to only go to your scheduled classes when they are scheduled to happen not at another time because that messes up the classroom so do not do that yeah and i just want to give one more small thing um before you enter into the zoom class into your zooms on synchronous days um your teachers will need you to be using your student name okay so funny nicknames we need to throw those out all right sixth grade schedule here on thursday look at that red box okay Pretty self-explanatory there. Green, we're with our teacher, synchronously Zooming. Yellow, we are asynchronous. Seventh grade, we've got the same thing. And I've heard from some students that they're getting into a little bit of a routine. They actually quite enjoy uh, getting away from their workstation and going to get lunch in their kitchen. It's kind of like a little mini getaway. Yeah. Getting into a routine is very important. And then of course, eighth grade. So getting into a good routine is important. And again, just another reminder, A day students is synchronous. We meet on Zoom and B day students is asynchronous. Again, synchronous means you're Zooming, okay? All right, talk to me about Nurse Susan's update. All right, Nurse Susan, you know what she says. She says get those health records in as soon as possible. And that means prior to before October 1st, we need to have physicals and shot records for all sixth graders and anyone new to the district. Mm -hmm. So get those in to the office here at Franklin Middle School, please. Yep, get those in. And we can make copies for you too. Yep. All right, Scholastic Bowl question of the day. This one's life science. This special type of digit allows chimpanzees and humans to perform fine motor skills accurately. Give the two word term for this feature 
in the structure of our hand that allows us to write and pick up small objects. It's also something that happens as we get older. We yep. can become more flexible and malleable and other adjectives to describe picking things up. And babies Brain tend fever. to start with Cheerios. Uh-huh. Yeah, babies do start with Cheerios. All right. Brain All right. teaser. Ooh. Which cup will get coffee first? Hmm. Will it be four, five, seven, or nine? Yeah, take a look at that one for a second. I like these. They, they make me think, make me ponder what gravity. And then I'm like, why would they pour the coffee in there? Not, why not just pour it in the cup? Uh -huh. Yes. All right, uh, attention all FMS families. The 2019 20, 20 yearbooks have arrived. Um, those cost $30 if you prepaid, come pick yours up. Um, they can be picked up in the FMS office. Um, we'll accept cash or check. Checks need to be made out to FMS. Uh, school office hours at Franklin Middle School are 7.30 to four. And uh, sixth graders, you will not be in this yearbook. So um, no worries about that until next year. All right, bad joke. Yesterday I saw a guy spill all his Scrabble letters on the road. I asked him, what's the word on the street? Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, <laughs> on this day in history, September 10th, 1919, New York City Parade honors World War I veterans. And I love the photo. Look at that. And on September 10th, 1919, almost one year after an armistice officially ended the First World War, New York City holds a parade to welcome home General John J. Pershing, Commander-in-Chief of the American Expeditionary Force, AEF, and some 25,000 soldiers who had served in the AEF's 1st Division on the Western Front. And a lot of those young men were no much older than 21, 22, 23, 24, and that's just an amazing old photo. And if you're a history buff, um, those are cool to look at. Very cool. And you would consider yourself a history buff, wouldn't you? Uh, a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> All right. Players of, and families of softball players. Hey, if you have any photos of any of the games that you'd like to share, please send them to Mariotti at sps186.org. And I'll be at the uh, – I was at the game last night, so – I got to work on um, getting some of those pictures shared. Yeah, yep, looks like a good group there. And in baseball news, the baseball game scheduled for today at 4.30 in Virginia has been postponed until Thursday at 4.30 in Virginia. Players and families of so baseball. That game, that game was actually scheduled for Tuesday, Okay. and it, it'll be tonight. That game will be played tonight. So players and families of baseball players, if you have photos of baseball games, you can send those to Mariotti at sps186.org as well. And in cross-country news. All ooh. right, take a look at that. Top seven girls, Phoebe, Ainsley, Macklin, Simone, Charlotte, Kaziah, and Olivia. And the top seven boys, Jackson, Jude R., Alex, Jude P., Gabe, Simon, and Jeffrey. Good job, men. And, and all of it. those kids got um, a set a personal record. That's what PR stands for. Mm -hmm. Good job, everybody. Yeah. And we'll have our next meet on the 15th in Jacksonville at the um, community park. Good deal. Lots of PRs there. Love to see that. Okay, take a look at the weather. It's getting a little bit fallish. It's looking a little bit more like autumn. Today's weather is 76 with a low of 59. Looks like this weekend's gonna start off pretty nice. Friday, 78 degrees. And Saturday, maybe a little bit of rain in 81. Getting into that fall swing. Happy birthday, Carson Kowalski. All right, happy birthday. All right, look at our answer. We got Scholastic Bowl, and the answer to that was opposable thumbs. And our brain teaser was, it went into coffee container five. And as we prepare for a productive day, let us observe a moment of silence. Now let us rise for the Pledge of Allegiance.
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, we got some more photos. Like to see those. We got the Falcon flying. Franklin Middle School staff and students, and I guess parents too. They might be watching these, might be catching these on the morning announcements as they're posted. We want everybody to have a great day. And remember, it's all about choices. Read, read right read at Franklin Middle School. It's our focus. All right. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.